Do you have joint pain or want to gain muscle faster? What's up guys, TRT Veteran here. Today we are going to talk about something a little controversial, but hey, why not stir a pot here? We are going to be discussing DECA. That is Nandrolone Decanate. First used in 1962. DECA is considered a steroid and is used for putting on muscle mass. However, you still have to put in the work with lifting the weights. Doctors usually prescribe it for wasting disorders such as AIDS. It helps the body build muscle mass. A big reason guys on TRT use DECA, myself included, is to manage the joint pain. If you're suffering from a lot of joint pain, you might be taking over-the-counter drugs. However, a lot of those are probably pretty bad for you and can cause significant health issues. Instead of using those over-the-counter painkillers, try adding DECA into your protocol. It may help your overall quality of life go up. Pros of DECA include collagen synthesis. Here's a study on postmenopausal women using DECA and the conclusion was it stimulated collagen synthesis. You also get increased strength, it helps heal ligaments and tendons, increased bone mineral density, and increased bone strength. Muscle hypertrophy, which is the increase in the size of the muscle fibers. Increased protein synthesis to help repair damaged muscle fibers. And personally, the reason I take DECA is for the joint pain. There are many studies showing that it helps bones and joints, and several men can attest to that, including myself. It tremendously helps reduce joint pain. I was able to find one study on the use of DECA for joint pain, and the patient's pain score was reduced by 52%. If you want more details on the great things that DECA can do, check out this study. It has a lot of great info. The link is in the comments below. So some of the cons of DECA, and one of the major ones for me, is it can cause your estrogen to raise. So with that, you have to pay attention to your labs and make sure that your estrogen isn't getting too out of control. If your estrogen is on the rise, you might want to start controlling your estrogen with some of those natural supplements that I've talked about in a previous video. Or if it gets too bad, you might even have to move to taking an AI. Another con of DECA is it can raise prolactin, which is another thing you need to check during your labs. If you're noticing any ED, there are some supplements that can help naturally lower prolactin, but again, there is something that a doctor can prescribe to help knock that prolactin down a little bit quicker. You want me to say that word? Another side effect is sexual dysfunction, AKA DECA dick. Now, out of all the side effects I have had and issues I have had throughout my life, luckily, this has not been one of my issues. Another major con of DECA is it can reduce your good cholesterol, HDL. It also may raise your blood pressure, so make sure you're keeping an eye on that. Other tips for DECA use is you wanna make sure you always are taking DECA while on testosterone. A lot of people do a two to one ratio. So if you are injecting 250 milligrams of testosterone a week, you wanna make sure that you're injecting 125 milligrams of DECA a week. You don't need to cycle DECA as long as you're using it in a therapeutic dose and as long as you're using it with your testosterone. Personally, I use DECA. I've had joint pain since my time in the Marine Corps and lately it's just been getting worse. My doctor started me on a low dose of DECA. However, two months later, I was still having pain. I'm on 250 milligrams a week of testosterone. My doctor started me out on 100 milligrams of DECA a week. However, at my lab work two months in, I was still having joint pain. My joint pain was so bad that even when bench pressing a super light weight, my elbows felt like they were going to explode. 
At that time, my doctor went ahead and bumped me up to 200 milligrams a week of DECA. After about four weeks, my joint pain started disappearing. Some people say that DECA does not increase your estrogen. However, even on the low dose of 100 milligrams a week, my estrogen started out at a 55, but after those two months of being on 100 milligrams, my estrogen went from 55 up to 85. So for me, obviously, DECA increases estrogen. Just like any medication, you have to weigh the pros and cons. For DECA, we noticed that there wasn't a whole lot of people talking about side effects other than the sexual dysfunction or that DECA dick. But for me, my major side effect is that estrogen increasing. So make sure you talk to your doctor and do your labs on a regular basis. But above all else, make sure you are getting your DECA from a actual pharmacy, not an underground source. If you need a great hormone clinic, make sure you check out matrixhormones.com. That's who my wife and I go see and we could not be happier. It's absolutely amazing customer service. Make sure you drop that discount code TRT Veteran to save you big money and get that VIP customer service. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Head over to Instagram, follow me on there, TRT Veteran, and then we also have a group on Facebook now, TRT Veteran. So make sure you go ahead and go check that out, guys. It's safe, easy spot. You can ask any questions related to your hormones, weight loss, lifting journeys. Let me know, guys. I'll see you in the next video.